This is Peak Oil News. I'm your host, Mr. Energy Czar. We're covering Peak Oil, Renewable Energy, Electric Cars, and everything in between. The Chevy Spark Electric Car is available on the West Coast. You can get one for about $20,000 after the EV tax credit. At 400 foot-pounds of torque, it has more torque than a Ferrari 458 Italia. Tesla continues to be in a roll. Its Model S production is above 400 per week now with a new target being 800 per week. Production is now focused on fulfilling the European demand. Tesla's Elon Musk has talked about the idea of evacuated tube transport. The company, ET3, is hoping to conduct a three-mile test with speeds up to 370 miles per hour. In theory, traveling in frictionless vacuum tubes could reach speeds up to 4,000 miles per hour. BP's request to suspend the Gulf oil spill payments to the victims was denied. BP says the claim payments may be tainted by fraud. The judge said he was offended by what he saw as attempts to smear the lawyer administering the claims. The world's largest coal company will use solar to cut energy costs. Coal India may be concerned its coal reserves won't last much longer. They want to get into clean energy sooner rather than later. Lancaster, California is the first city to require solar on new single-family homes. Surprisingly, the Republican mayor is a big solar advocate. He liked to make Lancaster the solar energy capital of the world. The world's largest wind farm, the London Array, was officially opened by the Prime Minister, David Cameron. It has a 630 megawatt capacity. Cameron says it provides jobs for local people and provides power for half a million. The Solar Impulse is the first solar-powered airplane to fly coast to coast, both during the day and at night. The batteries were able to hold their charge throughout the night and get recharged during the day. The lithium batteries weigh over 800 pounds. Four college students have created a pair of shoes that create energy while walking or running. Called Petty Power, each step creates electricity that is stored in a belt-mounted battery. They hope it will become a commercial product someday. That's it for this week's edition of Peak Oil News. Please subscribe to my channel, like and share this video, and go to MrEngesR.com. Thank you.